to Marsden. Okay, so we'll get the next train coming in uh, to Huddersfield, change there for Marsden, hopefully. Okay, so uh, switch cameras. Right, here it is, another double formation. A bit unnecessary, but we're getting it all the time now. We've barely enough passengers to fill the 153, yet we've got six carriages. And we're on the right this time, on the downside. Don't often sit on this side, of course. So, we couldn't come here, we couldn't come on that unofficial train, so we've done it officially. We've had to alter the platform here. Now we're here obviously when we did that walk over to Greenfield, but we're not going to do anything so uh, involved this time. We're just going to walk back along the canal to Slough it. Right, here it goes, on to Manchester. Right, let's set view ranger going and we'll walk back to Slough it. So this is another section of the uh, Huddersfield Trans Pennine line covered. Modified the stairs here because they were all like that at the edge there, all the way across. It was a bit uh, unnerving stepping out onto what you could see through. Same at the other side. It looks like platform one is obviously for down trains and it's cleared road there. Two is for up trains, but three, this wooden platform is where that uh, unofficial train would have stopped here, sort of unofficially. Just to turn around some years ago and failed and ended up falling in. So I don't really think we want to do that. Unless you did it deliberately, because almost made to think you could jump that fairly easily got a good enough run at it. Right. Down here. We have done this walk a few times actually in the past, but uh, as I say, this is the first time I've managed to record it. Right, just looking back, there was a boat there. Didn't think to photograph it actually, but uh, anyway, let's keep going. Quite a few locks just here. What's that? No idea, another known a care. This is uh, Spath Reservoir now where we quite often see swimmers 
uh, here and there, but there's really no one else here today except moi. Looks like they're dredging the canal down there, getting rid of all the silt and rubbish. So we'll have a walk down there a bit later when we continue to slow it. Right, we're on the move again, and uh, the water's not coming over that um, spillway, so it's obviously not flooded. Looks like it has in the past, maybe fairly recently, but anyway, this is the dredger. Interested to see what it's dredging out. It will be. Now that is not very nice, is it? That is disgusting, to be quite honest, but it's what you get at bottom of canals. So in that respect, perhaps it's not disgusting, it's just natural. Let's keep going towards Slowit. dredges here. Be a bit careful, it's a bit uh, muddy. Right, that's the empty stop movement for the lead service now. So now we're behind them when we came from Cosmion. Can't quite make out, it's actually got no service on it, but that's what that is. Such a waste. Two units when you can manage with one, and, uh, and then sending it up here out of service, wasting more fuel. Anyway, we'll continue to slow it. Well, look, 29 ahead, by the look of it. Hey, what's this? Sounds like a local old one. Is it? Won't be working very hard here because it's downhill now all the way to Uddersfield. Sounded like a local wall one. It is in propel mode. Continue. Oh, is there a boat going through? Looks like there's somebody with a block gate handle. Training the boat in the same section. Hi. Oh, little ducky. Hello, darling. Oh, what's that? Liverpool trainer link. Mm-hmm. Another one. See you, Anon. Yeah, there's a boat coming. I see you. Into the lock. We better get on to slab it. Only I've got time to wait too much now. I don't want to miss 1400 from slab work or slab it or whatever you want to call it. Slab it to most.
Right, we're only about a quarter of a mile or so away from Slavic now. So this one, this lock is rather different. It's just a metal barrier, which swing, which not swing, or it just lifts up and down for when boats go through. And further down here now, you'll notice uh, a section of repaired canal, because it used to stop somewhere down here, it did, until about 1999 or 2000, somewhere like that, I think it was, it was rebuilt at 2000, 2001 or thereabouts. Right, now this is the location where it used to finish and stop abruptly with no through canal to Uddersfield. There is this bridge. Look how dent of that bridge is with like cartwheels or whatever. Right, so yeah, bridge 45 here. This is as far as it used to come at one point. About where the wall changes to a modern style of structure. So yeah, be about here. And obviously it has been reconstructed. It's either 2000 or 2001, I think. Is there a date on there? AD 2000, yeah. Yes, we did it. We did this walk the first time ever in 2000 itself on the 1st of January on Millennium Day. New Year's Day 2000 and it wasn't in, it wasn't in situ then. So, right, let's find somewhere to have something to eat, like a calf or whatever. Then we'll walk up to the station. I wonder if this is doing food. Could be. Right, the station's just ahead. Oh dear. Just had a nice tomato soup and bread roll. Uh, that calf just back yonder. Can't quite see it now, but anyway. Oh dear. <coughs> I think the longest distance now is probably here from here to Woodersfield when we do with that. It won't be for a while yet. It won't. Right, let's get to the station and stop the Ranger. This platform for Marsden stations to Manchester, Victoria, Piccadilly now. Whatever, anyway. <laughs> you know, it is a Northern station, even though there's no Northern services calling here. Same with Marsden and Greenfield and Mosley. <coughs> so. Never got on at this side before, have we? First time for everything. Oh, it's 1402 now. Never mind. Caught me tripod on. What is it? Right, this is our next train to Manchester Piccadilly. So we'll get on this one. Try and sit on the right. We will. So we can see the crossover at Marsden. I think we're going to go to platform three for whatever reason. Right, we're on the move again. Heading for Manchester Piccadilly. And we're on this side now so that we can see the crossover. Marsden, where the 
wheelie go to the loop. I don't know. It looked like the points were set that way, according to Traxy. We shall see. Let's see where we walk down here. Just down by the canal. There we are, that's it. Just walked down there earlier. put the points back across we're going to the main platform at Mars and same one we got off at so let's see the crossover now because that is gonna be pretty shiny I think it is wow one extreme to the other
was a convenient section to walk over because it wasn't easy to do on the train. Direct. That's the canal. Yeah, that's the canal. That's that other canal. There was a like a T junction, wasn't there? So the canal. That's that's the River Tame, I think. It's further over. It must be. We're not far off Gate Bridge now. through Guide Bridge now, just coming on to the old wooded line that was a GC. This bridge here with the yellow railings. Now this is the depot now for Transpennine Siemens. Across there. And this is Hardwick. I don't think anything's calling here at the moment. Look at that, it's a rather nice tidy platform, isn't it? At a station with about three or four trains a day. You used to have a direct one to Huddersfield a while back, but they knocked it off. Very handy for Universal Square, which is that building there with the coloured stripes on it. Very handy. You access it via blind lane down below. Well, we've done it. I didn't expect to do, but we have. Even though it was on platform 12, which is not that easy to get to, because you can't get to it from the footbridge uh, from the rest of the, rest of the station. So anyway, we'll go to Bramall with this one, walk on to the next station. We're going. Oh, we can cross onto platform 11, can't we? Come out that way. We must have we must have realigned the track here because I didn't think we could actually exit platform 12 while somebody was going through 13. There's a freight line, look, they're going through 13. Not keen on that word at the minute, China. <laughs> have exported some from China that we don't like. Good afternoon ladies and gents, welcome aboard this 1444 local service to Stockport Trent. The service will call the Stockport Chief Q for Bramall, Clinton, Adlington and Prestbury, Wackerton, Hunderson, Kidgrove and Stockport Trent. Slightly unexpected, but we're on the fast line here. I rather expected the slow line, but uh, anyway, no complaints as such. It's this Heaton Chapel. It certainly is Heaton Chapel. Must have missed Leaven Tune. We're going rather quick. Stockport's next. First up, Stockport, then all stations to Stoke. Stockport now. So, uh, you'll see the line curve off towards Hazel Grove shortly, and Sheffield, I suppose, as well, and Buxton. This is a line to Hazel Grove now. Next station is Cheadle Hume, and we should be turning left, so we'll use the curved platform to Cheadle Hume. Right, this is Cheadle Hume now. Curved platforms for this service. The main line is over there, which goes to Crew. Now we're having it. Cheadle Hume. It's on the bridge here as well, look at it. Right, next stop, we're off. We'll walk on to point and so, 
go. Right. Ramal, new take. We'll see this one go and then we'll head off. So this is 323237 on the Stoke on Trent service. Conductor's got his nuts out of window there. Okay. Right, let's see what um, Bramwell has to offer. It's fairly straight here, is this line, isn't it, actually? Curves off to the left down there. Right, yeah, let's see what uh, Bramwell has to offer. Looks like there's a disabled toilet over there and uh, possibly a booking office because that's going to be more the boarding platform. This is going to be more the alighting platform, I would think, because I wouldn't have thought you'd get that many people going to Stoke and Macclesfield instead of obviously Manchester. Plus, this is the end station like the boundary station for the manchester pt ticket area as far as i'm aware so anyway we'll head down that way shortly right i've just switched sides just so that we can get a permit to travel which i've already done from the ticket machine which is just here so there's ticket machines there's dot matrix displays i think there's a booking office in there uh, for busy times in more normal times of course uh, so, anyway, let's set the ranger going and we'll walk on to the next station up Poynton. Right, we're going to walk to Poynton now, the next station on towards Stoke. Uh, you can see behind me uh, the bridge there, of course, and that is, um, it is a step-free station because there's, uh, although there is some steps, there is actually step-free access. So, anyway, let's uh, switch camera. Jagging a ranger over there, of course, but... Uh, I guess they could have driven from somewhere else, but yeah, I've been led to believe actually that Bramall actually is quite a, an affluent area, a bit like Overly Edge. I've just walked down Bramley Road here now and taking this footpath, which will take us quite close to the railway. Quaint little stream. Cross country service, by the look of it. Double formation. Right, we just walked down this path here, you can see the railway here, and there's a little bridge underneath now, which we're going to have to be very careful we don't bang our head here, because it's uh, quite low. So that's a six foot headroom there. There it is. Right, let's keep going. Nice, quaint little bridge here, but we're not going to go this way, actually. I'll just have a quick look at it. It's just having a little stream. Anyway, we're going this way now. Just come from down there. Back under the railway shortly. Golf course is on the left. Just here through the trees. Anyway, I think we're going to go back under the railway again. Now, here same sort of bridge oh it's a bit longer as this one low headroom again oh dear don't think of people six foot plus do they yeah right that's uh oh that's that um oil depot there's like an oil depot showing on the map, so that's looking back. Let's uh, keep going down here now, as best we can. A little bit overgrown. I 
The road you can see over there has not been open very long, probably less than two years. And there's a left turn somewhere. Ah, oh, it's uh, not available anymore. That's a bit awkward. Anyway, never mind. We'll just go to the end here and turn right. It's probably because it's just so easy to do this, actually, rather than do, do that as it was. Oh, there's a wagon coming in now, look. And the gate's closing. Oh dear, what a shame. Could have gone straight in. Let's watch the green lights. The little red and green light. Or is it fully open and they'll give him the road? Yeah. It didn't go green, unless it's done it just after these... Uh... Yeah, green. Right, down this way. Hello, cows. Hello, cowsy, cowsy. Mm, it's all right, I'm only filming you. Come here. Oh, you're too shy, aren't you? Right, must get on. Uh, but it's really overgrown, is that? And there's a lot of nettles there, so sod that. We'll just walk to the end of this road and turn left. We shall be crossing from Manchester to Cheshire very shortly. Hey, look at this. GR post box. That's an old one. And if you can see that little brown sign over there, that to me would suggest that there's a steam railway somewhere. Or heritage railway. I can't think what that might be around here. Unless it's that garden centre. It's some distance away is that. I didn't notice any signs, but uh, looking at that bus stop, we've crossed into Cheshire now. So he isn't very far off. Point and in fact, I think it's just down there, this road a bit further now. I suppose it would make sense to do the other walk as well. Adlington, Presbury. Then no, we don't need to actually come to this area again. It's just that the weather's a bit crap and there's, are, there's hardly any uh, battery level now. Let's cross over. Point and station is ahead. Of a post box. This time it's one of Liz's. So welcome to Poynton. This is another tick when we get on the, when we get on the train. So yeah, we'll go south, one or two stops, and walk from either Adlington to uh, Presbury or the other way around. We'll see. Might walk north. So Poynton. There's a wishing well here. And some old signage, Shell and WR. Nice little garden. Boundary post. Mm. Might be nice when the weather's better. So, yeah, this is looking towards Manchester. We're not going to go this way, we're going to go south. So, that means going over to the other side. Now, is it a Yes, it is a step-free station because the step-free access there and where we've just come, probably from the road bridge up there. Let's cross over the footbridge because we can obviously use the steps here. You can hear the summer of the old signs. Look at that wooden one. That's a really old style sign. It trains to Bramall, Cheadle, Heatham, Stockport and Manchester. That's more modern. So, yeah, we'll get on the next train south and uh, walk from Adlington to Presbury or Presbury to Adlington, we'll see. Right, here's our next train. I'm down to using the iPad now because uh, the phone has just about packed up. So we'll go with this one to 
either Adlington or Prestbury and then walk between the two. I'm hoping to walk north. So that means going two stops so walking back north. Now, this is where we're going to walk back to. We'll keep going one more stop. Hope for the best. This is Adlington, Cheshire. Doesn't say that, it just says Adlington on the sign, which is what you expect it to say, I suppose. The main station building is on that side, which of course we'll see when we uh, come back. down that road very shortly we'll come back and over that bridge welcome to Prestbury another tick okay Prestbury tick let's just see this one go and then we'll head back to Adlington so three two three two three four on the Stoke service it's been refurbed inside as that one actually. It's very similar to the ones in West Yorkshire on the Airdale Northfield. Right, well, let's just see which one. We'll probably get that one coming back at a guess. We we'll shall see. It was a bit late, was that? Right, this is Prestbury. There's a short tunnel just down here as well, which we'll have a look, quick look at that. I forgot about that tunnel. There's another one just north of Macclesfield, but we're not, we won't be going any further south than this now. At least I don't think we will. Depends what trains are available when we get to Adlington because uh, they're hanging around there ages. Right, that's the tunnel. I don't you see right through it or not. You might do from the other side. It's on a slight curve. It is. Right, it's a yellow tick station, is this one, I think, unless, of course, there's no step free access to that side, which I don't think. It might be a, it might be a red X. Because there's only steps here. This is an Avanti West Coast, I think. So there is. Right, let's get on and get out of the station, which is uh, definitely it's a Red X station, is this because there's steps here and steps either side. So, very unfortunate, but no wheelchair access. Doing a spot of building work, I think. Right, it must be this way. Right, going up there where that uh, van's just gone. It says Adlington up here, anyway, doesn't it? Adlington Hall. I wonder, wonder what that's like. We shall never know without googling it. We don't plan on going there. So we finally managed to tick these four stations off after constantly procrastinating. So that's the whole of the Stoke Macclesfield Stockport line done now. When we've done Adlington in another hour or so. <coughs> that's my phone. Look at this little mini os. How do you spell os? Is it OS? Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Oh, don't bite me. I thought horses are supposed to be vegetarians anyway, not meat eaters. Anyway, we'd better get on. See you later, horses. Right, now 
I think we want this path to the right here. Because there's two. That one goes over to the left. Hold on a minute. It might not. Because that's going over to the left. Isn't it? Right, I can see the footbridge already over there. Not too muddy. Don't mind it dusty. Yeah, it certainly made sense to do this. Right, we're going to head for that footbridge there and cross it. Quite a good spot here. Here we are. Right, let's get over the footbridge. Right, you can see the tunnel down there. Tunnel that is Presbury. We're looking north, it's pretty straight here. So let's uh, continue over the bridge. So not many people come here, I think some do, because otherwise we'd like graffiti there, wouldn't they? I don't think it's Banksy. Right. There's a northbound express, but it's not due for at least 10 minutes yet. Must have been a level crossing at one time because it even says there stop look listen beware of trains they've never actually taken that away from when it was altered and the bridge put up i bet the bridge is not much more four or five years old actually comment if you know right this is the bit we saw from the train now earlier i think all you need to just do is go straight down london road now up here straight to adlington that's uh, Reading to Manchester Piccadilly, double formation. Good shot here. It's really open. Right, there's a northern service due south very shortly, so we'll just head on down a we'll bit further. down and get that there. This is an Avanti West Coast service to Manchester Piccadilly from Euston. Stay in a minute because there's a northern service heading the opposite way. This is the northern service to Stoke on Trent. Small by comparison. If the sun was out, it'd be almost silhouetting. Right, let's uh, continue with our walk, because we've only just done about a mile now. Right, we're going to go underneath the railway now to the west side. What's this? Potatoes and poultry coal. I don't think we'll bother. Nice start though for later. the River Dean we're crossing here. Not sure if it's a torrent or just a trickle. We shall see. Oh, not too bad. I was expecting it flowing the way somehow. Yeah. It goes right round there. Not bad. Nice little river. Right, there's a footpath on the right here now, because it places it. Uh, in fact, let's see if we can get through it, it might be a bit easier. Looks like a dropped curb, so let's see if it's easier here. 
Yes, I think it is. Right, we're away from the main road now. And another footbridge to go over. We've got plenty of time. We'll just get the next available train when we get back to Adlington. Might get an odd train at this footbridge. Right, that's the uh, local stopping service to Manchester, Piccadilly. I missed it the other side. I'm busy checking. Right, anyway, we'll continue down here. It was a bit mucky, but. Uh, over the stile and we need the left fork which is this 25 route oh dear right over this way yeah that's good isn't it no idea where it's supposed to go anyway let's just head in this general direction right I'm just back to using the phone again now still about 6% charge in the battery so I'll just use this bit now until it until it goes the iPad's full right here we are Adlington Cheshire this platform for trains to Macclesfield and Stoke so let's do it we've made it back to Adlington so yeah there's two Adlingtons of course there's one of the Bolton Preston line this is uh, the other one, Adlington, Cheshire. So, what's next turn to Piccadilly? 1824, you got a bit off time. No, we'll go south. I'm about to see where we walked, if the battery lasts that long. And then we'll uh, head back via Crewe, if we can, Crewe and Wilmslow. Right, we had a Toby Carvery, uh, Carvery in there, obviously. <coughs> see, I feel a bit fuller now. So, a slight change to our previous plan. We're not going via crew, we're gonna go straight from here to Manchester Piccadilly. We are. So let's get down this side <coughs> and we'll head north. It saves us a little bit, it was a bit longer way around via crew anyway, so. We'll probably have to end the video very shortly because the battery is just about out on here. Right, here we are. This is our 1825 to Piccadilly. 323-229. So I'll get straight to Manchester Piccadilly on this one and then uh, see what we can do from there. Not working. So, Adlington, Cheshire, tick. We've just left Stockport now, we're on the, the very edge of the viaduct, the very west side of it. Quite a good view from here. I'll end the video at Manchester Piccadilly, it didn't last that long. We're on the slow line of course, because we're stopping at Heaton Chapel. I don't know why it's just one and not both or neither, it seems a bit odd. But uh, been down there a few times in the past. The Huddersfield train is just over there now, platform one if I can get it. Right, this is the one down here now. First stop, Staley Bridge, all shacks Huddersfield. So it's stopping at Mars and Slabbit, of course, where we were earlier. Very easy. Where shall we sit? Right, we're on the move again now, heading back to Huddersfield and then on to Cottingley. So we're going to go to 
to Huddersfield with this one and then on to Cotting. Like, there won't be any time for a pizza because it's only about eight or nine minutes straight in, straight out nearly. So, switch cameras. I've also changed sides as well, so uh, you'll see the Stockport line coming, it's uh, just before Guide Bridge. Because this part of the GC used to be four lines all the way through Guide Bridge and I think beyond. Not sure where it went down to just a two. We're approaching Guide Bridge, so we shall be turning left here and a Stockport line, which would have been very handy if we could have used it, uh, is trailing in on this side very shortly. Obviously it, it trails into just that line there, it doesn't come across to this side until we get past the station. So all these masts obviously are, are that's the Stockport line there now. Bit of a shine on it, not much. So yeah, obviously lots of the overhead stanchions are different. The woodhead days on here, even though they're now carrying 25 kV. So that's the footbridge we went over when we did the walk to Staley Bridge. Bearing off to the left here now, and that is the Woodhead line, or well, Hadfield Glossop, and obviously you get to Romer that way, and Sheffield might get their uh, Hyde Central. Coming up to Staley Bridge. Just about into Staley Bridge, watch us step onto the platform, and don't forget to take your block into your Staley Bridge. Who's disconnected now is that line? That used to be the A to Chem line, even though the signal still lit up, even though there's no chance of anything ever using it strange but now for some odd reason we're actually using platform 3 uh, in the less regular direction platform 3 is more often used towards Manchester but, uh, yeah we're crossing over to platform 3 for some reason Bay platform's not got much shine on it, has it? My word, that is pretty rusty. See the hills up there, look at them, it's really covered in mist. It's not how I like it, really. I like it nice and sunny and bright and clear. The phone is on charge now. That's where we've kept going with it as much as we have now, because it would have blobbed out by thought before now, definitely would. Right, on the move again. Next stop, Mosley. And Mosley, and it's an S, it's Mosley. Mosley. Might see if I can do a walk over that one day, Mosley to Hadfield, because that will take us right over the top of the mountains, up there, the hills and whatever. back onto the down. Otherwise we'll be going wrong road completely. <laughs> can't see that's where the old Micklehurst line used to go up there. You can't see it though not to Deagle now. There's a crossover here just um, at Deagle. Not so sure whether it's actually used much or not. It used to be for just Greenfield to no it's not not it's a bit rusty as that one. It was just used for occasional greenfield turn backs, they used to come up here and turn around. Still in use for emergencies, I would think. This is Diggle. The thin, thin tunnels are over there, and the canal tunnels lower down now. Right, we're approaching Marsden. Not sure whether the train will be in the loop at Marsden now, I'm not checked it, because the current boss is in the tunnel. So it should be following us down. Um, when we get to Huddersfield, I think it'll follow the Redka service down, so it, it probably will be in the loop now. So, it's... Uh, not that long since we were here this morning, early afternoon, lunchtime. Not walking.
walking him back now, straight to Huddersfield and then Cottingley. Right, he's leaving Marsden. There's a stop signal there to go out of platform two the wrong way as well. So you'll see that crossover again now, where the loop comes in just here. The lead service that we're going to get at Huddersfield is approaching the load. Yeah, the points are set for it now, and that's the crossover, which is going to a really healthy shine on that now because it's so well used. You know why it's just stood at this signal, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Slow it. That's where we got on. It's after the other heading west. So I had thought of going back by the Calder Valley, but there just isn't time. Got to be, that'd be an hour later at least. Now we're dropping down the Cold Valley now from Slowit to Huddersfield, and this is a section that we still need to walk. And I'm thinking that we'd probably be better walking it towards Huddersfield. If you get a decent day back into July, early August, I might do it. I would rather do it when the weather's nice. If it is a long walk, it's be at least eight miles of it. Maybe more. Can't see the canal from here, that's too lower down down there. Platform 4, Terminus. Right, let's get ready and get off now. Right, this is our final train for today. It is the stopping service to Leeds, just coming down from Marsden, obviously. So uh, we'll get on this and head back home. station should be and you can see the farmer get up there now and the paths coming down no one is on them and then there's a path up there to Tesco of course which we've used a couple of times this is where the white road station is going to go That's really bad, is that? Because this is a door that will open. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be saying that in this area. It's stupid. Another express lane pass on the opposite side. Right, back on we are. Sees you and on. That's heading off to Leeds. We're going to go home. Switching cameras. Well, it's not been a bad day. We've done the uh, four stations that I, in, well, didn't think we were going to do, but we did. I'm glad we did as well, rather than just doing two of them and having to go back again. So, yeah, great. Um, 
That's it then, isn't it now? So just uh, cue music and see you next video. Enjoy. Bye for now.